Listen as B. Moore Harris discusses critical concepts and teaching strategies that can be used effectively when teaching students about linear equations. After you have heard Ms. Moore Harris, if you wish to revise your evaluations, you may. The teaching strategies that were used were awesome. The students really enjoyed working in the cooperative groups. You will see that students were helping one another, answering questions. I also like the fact that the students felt confident in what they were doing, where they defended their positions. They debated about am I right or am I wrong. And that uh, says something about the fact that these students are certainly comfortable in working in groups. They do it all the time and they have an opportunity to learn from one another. The teacher, her responsibility while the students are working in groups was to walk around the classroom and to monitor the group work. And as she was walking around the room and she noticed that a group of students was having difficulty, she figured that if this group is having trouble with this concept, probably someone else is having trouble. And she used that as an opportunity to do some more direct instruction to clear up any misconceptions or understandings that other students may have. Also, the use of effective questioning was evident throughout the lesson. Wait time one was implemented where the teacher would ask a question, allow time for students to think, and then give a response. I believe it could be further enhanced by implementing a wait time two after a student has given a response, wait to see if anyone else will piggyback on that response or ask other people, do you agree or disagree, to see if there are some different answers floating about out there rather than immediately letting the student know that this is right. Sometimes we don't take an opportunity to see if there's other thinking going on or maybe I have the same answer but maybe I have a whole different way of going about coming up with that answer. In this lesson we saw several different mathematical representations used to get the students to understand how to graph linear equations. Uh, some alternate strategies for achieving the same outcome could be to have the students look at different representations of equations that were linear and have the students determine what are the common characteristics that all of those equations have in common, what do those graphs have in common, to further develop the conceptual understanding of linear equations and what do they look like when they're graphed. Because the students seem to be so comfortable working in groups and they have already developed an understanding of linear equations and how to graph those equations, it would be simple to continue and extend the lesson by having the students brainstorm in their groups real-world situations where they could see applications of linear equations and begin to make a connection to the real world. Why is this piece of mathematics so important? As I watched the lesson, I noticed the teacher will use the outline form for note-taking, which I was really impressed with. Um, having Algebra one students learn how to take good notes is going to be critical to their success in mathematics as they progress through uh, high school. Uh, there's a body of research out there called sensory processing that talks about the brain and how it functions. And when students hear information, it's not enough. They also need to see it. And if they write it, that's that tactile kinesthetic piece that most students need in order for that understanding to be cemented into uh, their long-term memory. So taking notes is a very good way to have students to not only keep up with what's going on in class, but have something to refer to when they're doing homework, to refer to as they begin to prepare for test taking, and also it's going to improve the retention rate because they are constantly seeing it. It's something that they've written because that teacher is not going to always be there to answer questions, but they do have their notes that they can refer back to.